I feel like I'm putting Steve in a pretty like tough position though because his wife is best friends with my wife. So basically anything on that chip, just assume that Jennifer is going to find out about it too. <laughs> and Tracy, but it's not like Tracy didn't already know who came into the apartment to begin with. There's Richard. Hey, all good? A 250 hey. story administration building was destroyed by five missiles. What? Where? News from New York. Martian colony Red One has begun testing its autonomous energy supply. A representative of the settler group Marset spoke at a press conference yesterday to make the announcement. According to Marset, the colony is expected to be autonomous within a few days. In London, it has been revealed today that last month, cyber criminals hacked the communication service of the cloud. The hackers created vast numbers of false identities and brought them into circulation. Experts believe that either an organized criminal network or foreign secret services are behind the attacks. A high intensity search is on for the criminals. Hmm. Lots of crimes around the world. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted news source for Berlin and the Western world. Same stuff? In Berlin, there's been oh my God. a bombing attack <laughs> on Kurtz Robotics. The authorities believe the terrorist anti-technology group Breakpoint is behind the attack. This has Ooh. been the second attack of its kind within the last few days. Breakpoint! In Warsaw, a drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern... Yeah, we've already heard the news like 20,000 times. I've had enough of that printed junk. Damned embargo. Copy. Property of the voice. Everything is printed nowadays. Hey Claire, sorry- or uh, Carrie, sorry to uh, take up your time. You can go back now if you want. <laughs> Kurt's Nutrition Labs. Please drink no more than four caffeinated beverages a day. Keep an eye on your blood pressure. Contaminant-free water cannot be guaranteed. Gotta get my coffee anyway. Oh, how nice of you, Richard. Not now, thanks. Oh. I mean, I was trying to be nice, but if you don't want it... Japanese delicacies, aka sushi. Due to the trade embargo with the Eastern Union, some meals can only be prepared via food assembler. Oh, that's what she was talking about, the embargo. What? You can't embargo sushi? <laughs> how can that work? That's ridiculous. Group Breakpoint is behind the attack. This has been the second attack. People working on the side stations here. Troy. Mr. Nolan. Yes. I wanted to introduce myself. Not now, please. I'm busy. Uh, but I later, okay? Okay, fine. Oh, don't be so antisocial, Richard. Troy Davis. Nobody around here? Oh, that's my work hub. Frank Lloyd Troy Davis. Yeah, he sits at my desk now while I'm gone. This is my desk. Yes, I got it. No more than four caffeinated drinks a day. Run riots in Germany. Work being the new kid in town. Oh, that's what it said earlier. Tracked. The new data collection. Marketing team. And if the East bombs the Vatican, so long as the message stays yellow, it's your problem. Okay? Copy. Oh. Hey, Richard. Long time no see. Because I wasn't here. <laughs> it's only been like two days. And two of those days were like, what, Saturday and Sunday? Why is everyone acting like I work on Saturday and Sunday? Do I? I guess I do. Richard, come in. Man, what have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, no idea. Just an accident. You can't remember anything? Not the accident, no. What did the doctor say? They said I'll get over it. That's good to hear. <laughs> You'll have to tolerate me a little longer yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Richard, listen. You don't have to rush back into it. Think of your health. 
You have a family. <laughs> None of your business. Ah, uh, he's trying to replace me. You're talking as if I were on death's door, Frank. I'm fine. You should take a step back. Really, don't worry about work. We'll be fine. You'll be fine. What do you mean? Is there something I should know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I have time now. A little later, Troy. I'm talking with an old friend. Oh my Apologies. god. Apologies. Let me close the door. Okay. Now we won't be interrupted. What's going on, Frank? Listen, Richard. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this. We've been given new directives from the management. Uh -huh. Yes. They concern the work you're doing. Oh. Am I fired? You can't be serious, Frank. No, not fired. We... We are just restructuring a little. We would like to have you on board as a freelance writer. You'll get a framework contract for one year, and then after that, we'll see. I don't want to complain, but I don't want to give up either. It's my job. Like you said, I got a family. Who's gonna pay the rent? My goodness. You're kicking me out. I can't believe it. Look, you've done a lot for The Voice, and we really want to hold on to you. Oh, come on. But your column. There's been criticism. But I didn't even do it aggressively! So what? I'm a journalist, Frank, not a stenographer. You were a journalist, and a damn good one. And what am I now? You've turned into a man with an agenda. What are you talking about? I was all factual and stuff. I didn't even... If I was biased, I would have been very aggressive, okay? I was serious the whole time. Took my job seriously. But someone has to write about these things. Mankind's abolishing itself, Frank. And what, we can't write about that now? I'm not a terrorist. Richard, it's out of my control. The decision's been made. <sighs> I understand. Can I at least keep my desk in the newsroom? Richard, we've known each other for a long time, but you have to understand. Fine. Got it. But you are always welcome here. You can keep using the cloud services. Okay. And if you need anything... I'll come to you. Hey. We're professionals, right? You know as well as I do that things can go this way. Sure, Frank. You probably have stuff to do. Wow. I guess, uh... Should I have written that article then? Well, then they would fire me for not doing anything. Writing the article, no matter what tone we used, was still anti-technology at its core, I guess. I don't really accept that, but... My boss says so. It's not like I can fight against it. Ah, no thanks, Richard. It's not good for my art. Yeah, I want to spill it all over your shirt. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help me keep my one-year freelance job. <laughs> uh, Troy's gone. Did you want to talk, Troy? Job stealer. What if he's the man who stole- who came into my apartment? I would spill the coffee all over him. <laughs> Can I... Wait. On the desk. Is that my family photo, or...? That's my family photo. Better collect it, because Troy's not going to be needing that. Okay, Steve. Back to Steve, I presume. Does Carrie really not want the coffee? On Kurt's robotics. The authorities believe the terrorist anti-technology group Breakpoint is behind the attack. This has been the second... Did you hear that? In Warsaw... A drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone oh. has caused serious damage to the inner city. You heard a that, right? Story I thought I heard someone say, could you hear me? Like someone whispering? Maybe I'm going crazy here. Some gossip around the office, maybe? Welcome to the voice. Ah. Uh, thanks. Wow. What's made you so peeved? Hey, what's up? Something happened? Did Frank put you on some crappy job? No. What then? What happened? I'm fired. What? Thrown out. Yeah. Why? You'll have to ask Frank. Some nonsense. A directive from the management. I'm out. But with a short-term freelance contract. 
That's unbelievable. You should get a lawyer. Ah, oh, come on. So, you have to clear your desk now? Your new colleague Troy will be sitting there tomorrow. Frank is still letting me run around here a bit, though. I can still use the network. Generous, right? How's the memory chip coming along? Oh, yeah. It's done. And? What's on it? Show me. Okay, fine. Better not be Troy, I swear to God! <laughs> Find the man Tracy met in the apartment. Oh, okay. I Whoa! I'm at the desk right now, but I can walk. Wait, what? How does this work? Switch tiles? <sighs> no, it has to be one of the other rooms. Oh, I'm just standing here and looking at it. I see, just this little patch here. Okay, that looks better. Can I walk over there, or what? Oh, I can change all the tiles. Uh. Almost got it. Damn. That's not it. I mean, it's kinda... That's my wife and a baby crib? How does this work? Okay, that looks better. Okay, I just gotta keep going. Just this one. Okay. Oh my god, it's literally right here. Damn, that's not it. There. There. There he is, you see him? What is that idiot doing in my apartment? Looks like he's helping Tracy pack her things. He's speaking to my boy. I'll kill him, Steve. I swear to you, I'll end his life. Who is he? Richard. You don't even know what Tracy has to do with him. He could just be helping her move. Helping her move? It's obvious what's going on. Tracy ran off with this... this... And James. She took James, too. I have to know who that is. I have to get my boy back. You gotta help me, Steve. What? Identify him? Sure. I can try. Do a facial comparison. Send it through the database. Okay. Keep an eye on your blood pressure. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all? He must have left some trace in the cloud. Maybe he's a hacker. What about his movements? I can't check that. Maybe we can. I don't really like it, but... Move scan. We'll check his movement profile and find out who he is. Richard, Move Scan is a police database. We'll find him that way. Didn't you write a huge article about that? I know, Steve, but this is about my boy. <laughs> we just need access. That's illegal. And anyway, how are you going to get clearance? I'll take care of that. There's sources out there. Jace. Okay, Steve. Thanks for now. I have to go. I'll call you. Maybe we can ask Jace outside. Because he's apparently a super hacker. He was wearing full black, so I thought that was Troy, it has been but revealed no. Today that last month, cyber criminals hacked the communication service of the. Oh, I think it was these two ladies whispering. Not sure what they're saying, though. Can I have more coffee? No, the, the cup is gone. Sorry, Carrie, you can go back to your seat now. Well, I guess I'm fired. Not even gonna take my photo from my desk. Screw that. I gotta find the man. Gotta find the man. Yeah, no, no time. Monday, January 13th. Jace? You think Jace can help me out? You have a bot now, huh? What? I read your column for a change. Oh. Well, thanks for reading it, but it's my last one. Help our authorities fight oh. illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime. Jackie Schreier. The boys are in the back if you need anything. No way. Long time no see, man. Oh. 
You need something? Hmm, I knew it. Where's the guy that was just here? Your friend? Jace? Hey, not now, dude. Jace is talking to Dr. Roboarm. Roboarm? About an hour ago. Are you totally sure? Okay, understood. Uh, he's a little busy right now, man, uh, but I'm also open for business. You said you have illegal passwords. I need one for MoveScan, for some research. MoveScan? We got you. That's 800. All encrypted, of course. Oh, what do you know? Here he comes again. <laughs> I'll call you back later. Talking about me. Do I have 800? Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I was just talking about you. Really? With whom? Maybe you want to tell me your name? What for? I like to know who I'm doing business with. Okay, fine. Richard. Mm-hmm. Just Richard? Nolan. Richard Nolan. I'm a journalist. Sure. Richard Nolan. Exactly. You got a problem with that? No. But you do. Get him. Oh. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Relax. I just want to... Listen to me, cop. Next time you want to pretend to buy, pick another fake name. I'm not a cop. Richard Nolan is dead. <gasps> what? Says who? Says Jay. He sends his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in hospital. Deal with him. I didn't think it was a good idea to give our real name. But it turned out a little bit differently than I thought. I thought they would blackmail me or something, but I'm just straight up... dead. What? What the heck? Adam at the scene of the... accident. Try to catch the music box. Stay there. Gotcha. Find Charlie. Do you? <sighs> what? What a night. Yeah... Sigmund would be proud. Sigmund Freud, of course. It's the music from my son's room. Stay at home tonight, Adam. You have to recover. The city is a little bit deader in the night. And I thought I was onto something with the whole Richard and Adam and Scans and Mars, but now I'm not so sure anymore. What? That melody... Amy? Henry? I mean, Henry's the one we gotta really care about here, right? MVP. Yeah, same stuff. Dreaming about the accident I don't think is... too unreasonable. Just seems like a pretty normal thing that would happen. Don't think we need to look at any of this again. Son? There is one question in this world, John, that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you truly happy? Happiness comes from your brain. I could tell you a lot about your happy brain, about dendrites and synapses, but that would be quite boring. So instead, imagine a cave 
a small, hollow ball filled with a sweet liquid, like a cherry. That's how it all began, with the brain of a little primeval tapeworm. Let's call him Bob. Of course, Bob was not his real name. Tapeworms had long tapeworm names, just as long as their bellies, of which they were famously proud. But sadly, nobody remembers those true tapeworm names. Now, Bob lived in his little hole in the ground and was totally happy with his life. The earth was warm and comfortable, just like your bed. And with that, he was quite satisfied. But one day, Bob realized that the world around him was changing. It was growing cold and damp and wasn't comfortable at all anymore. This made Bob very sad. Because when the world changed, Bob would have to change too. And neither his happiness nor his lovely long belly could stay the same. So the tapeworm did something very interesting. Moved to Mars. He took his head and <laughs> carefully turned it inward on himself to the ball with the sweet liquid that was his brain. Now, Bob's outside world was completely connected with his inside world. And when the outside world would change, his inside world was safe. That way, in the ball with the sweet liquid, the little worm could preserve his happiness forever. And he lived happily ever after until the end of prehistory. So remember, when the world and everything around us becomes cold and damp, we have to turn our outsides in and let our outside and our inside become one. And when you close your eyes, little John, then imagine how that would feel. Oh, that's definitely some type of foreshadowing here. Rejecting the outside world and turning inward? Kind of like getting a scan, huh? And then living in some sort of a simulated world. A perfect simulated world! Where everything around you is positive. Your son loves you, your wife loves you, and everything is just all nice and dandy. How about that? Note from Amy for John. Ah, oh, I can't read it. Wait. <laughs> Why is Henry talking to my son when he's sleeping? I don't... <laughs> that part is a little bit strange. Oh. What is that? Possibly dangerous. No, this is private. Where is my wife? I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. Or... Or is this some kind of stupid test? I think it showed Tracy, who is Richard's wife, not Amy. Oh. Monday, January 13th. After I got mugged. Hold the phone though, apparently I'm dead? Steve? Wow, oh, Richard. You don't look good. It's fine, just ran into a bit of trouble. With the dealer downstairs, you mean? <laughs> what are you doing? Come up here. What is going on? Not only did I not get the password... Hold up. They didn't even leave a trace of anything for me. Dang. But I'm dead. I'm apparently dead. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Guess we'll have to ask Steve. Help our authorities fight No one. What happened to you? It's nothing. I'm okay. Man, I'm calling Medi Central. I'm okay. Everyone is talking to me like I'm still here, so I don't feel like I'm a ghost or anything, but then... What? I don't know. I don't know. Man, Richard. 
Look at you. You're, you're a walking corpse. No! Did you at least get what you wanted? Yep. Here. Don't look at me like that. It's just a password. Will you help me? Fine. But I can tell you right now that it's not going to be quick. I can't do that all online. I have to get a copy of the database first. How long will that take? A day, at least. <sighs> okay. I have some other stuff to do anyway. You know, concerning those dealers. Are you going to report them? You know, I'd be careful if I were you. You know what one of those guys told me? That I'm dead. What? I, that, that's a joke, surely. O or a threat. Didn't sound like it. Some guy called Jay is telling everybody, apparently. Richard, they're junkies. They're high. They hang out all day in Neverland or wherever it is they go these days. Jay, or maybe J-A-Y? Do you know who they meant by that? Maybe a hacker. Something was with his arm. Huh. A hacker. Jay, something with his arm. Augmented, maybe. Th th that rings a bell. Wasn't there a, a narco? An arco? Mr. Robo Arm. So they gave me the password, but then they beat me up anyway? Even though they suspected I'm a cop? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Now, hold on. I'll send you some material from the archives. Maybe you'll find them there. Oh my god. Okay. Unknown assailants assault police station. Theft of database technology. Hey, that's us. London. Never mind. A group of unknown individuals has assaulted a police station in the remote district 99 last night, stealing government-issued database technology of the RoboDat series. The attackers breached the doors of the police station, guarded by only two police bots with, ro with a rocket launcher. They fled the scene before any more units arrived. A spokesman said, the culprits were most likely anarchists or hardware hackers. A sign? What does a sign mean? Uh, maybe remove? Not sure what I'm assigning for now. I gotta link up some stuff, probably. Cyber criminals hack the cloud. False identities distributed. <gasps> False identities? That's today! January 13th. London. What's TVN? As recently as today, we have to we have learned that cyber criminals hacked the telecommunications service, the cloud, during the last month. A spokesperson of the service commented that intruders could create and distribute false IDs on a large scale. The search for the culprits, allegedly from an anarchist milieu, is now of the highest priority. Okay, false IDs. Keep that in mind. More bots. Wonderful. Basic spots about to be released. Appendages of previous models are compatible. Whoa! Awesome deal! The shipping of a new series of androids is about to start in North America. Owners of previous models can continue to use spare parts, like arms or legs, just like ordinary augmentations, for their new bots. In wake of the release, officials have set up collecting points where old bots can be disintegrated or disposed. Fancy. Backwards compatible. Jack McHale. J. The CPK declares, We hereby declare that both our founders, Andy West and Jack McHale, were killed on June 22nd, 22nd, 2046, during a drone attack carried out by the terrorist state. The fight against the technocratic system continues. CPK? Join us. Is that related to Breakpoint? No, 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 no. Put it back for now. Good lord. Police bots with new arm augmentation. Ooh, Mr. Robo Arm. Berlin. New hard points for automatic weapon. The robotic police forces of the United States will be outfitted with a new arm augmentation. Officials of the Security Council agreed on this new technology's deployment. The most important new function will be a hard point for an automatic weapon with a total capacity of 950 rounds of ammunition. According to the Council, this new equipment is necessary to counter the increasing number of anarchistic criminals who are increasingly violent and heavily armed. That was uh, May. That was in May. Last year. Jeff Kazowski, augmented arm. Augmented body parts are more efficient, durable, and aesthetic. Our colleague Jeff Kazowski will amputate one of his biological arms and replace it with an augmentation he developed himself. 
he will be a better human. Ooh, this one sounds like we're getting close. We will we'll save this one. Hacking ring exposed. Jack McHale again. Can't be him. Berlin police succeeded in landing another heavy blow against cybercrime. During a raid to Sector 31, 16 members of hacker group CPK were arrested. What kind of a crappy article is this? Gotta write that number out, man. Two numbers in a row? CPK founder Jack McHale could not be apprehended. Due to his unusual augmentations, the hacker had recently made a name for himself in the cyborg fashion scene. Unusual augmentations. What did the other one say about Jack McHale? He's dead. Apparently. What is CPK? J. J. Kazowski. Wanted terrorist in hiding. In hiding? Okay, but where? Augmentation scientist goes into hiding. Officials suspect terrorist connections. New York. Augmentation scientist of Kurt's lab, J. Kazowski, eluded police summoning and subsequent questioning by fleeing to an unknown location. K was suspected to have connections to terrorist organizations such as Breakpoint and is also a suspect connected to industrial espionage regarding research documents and facility layouts. The initial digital manhunt remains inconclusive. We'll put this one here. Augmentation produces subhumans. Feel safe. Sociologist warns of the dangers of enhancement technologies. He said, We observe that employers require or even demand augmentations if you apply for a job. Healthy human arms aren't enough anymore. As a society, we should be aware that we are in the process of creating humans of a different quality. Advertisement promises superhumans, but if you cannot afford augmentations, you are virtually demoted to a subhuman level. Very true, yeah. That's sort of a problem in Deus Ex as well. Adam Jensen was someone who had all the high-level augs, but a normal person wouldn't be able to afford any of that. Hackers on the rise. Number of digital assaults increased again. The number of attacks from hackers and data anarchists on governmental and private networks increased yet again. This was stated in the final report of the year 2047. According to the report, the total number of registered incidents has doubled compared to the year before. January? Terrorists connected to the Doomsday Club. The Breakpoint hackers, probably. Terrorists hacked these vehicles. Oh, vehicles, car crash. Breakpoint. <gasps> this has got to be it. Berlin, after three cabin car accidents, the manufacturer denied any responsibility. This is from seven years ago, though. Accidents are tragic, but almost all could be classified as human errors, like reverting to manual control. Open cases are allegedly the responsibility of doomsday-affiliated terrorists who hack the vehicles to discredit the utilized technology. Okay. Can I do this? Here, this looks interesting. Jeff Kazowski, researcher in the field of robotics. Augmentation of the right lower arm. Luddite. Breakpoint went under the radar. Connections to Berlin's anarchy scene. Doomsday. That's an anarchist's club. I could try there. Okay, Steve. Thanks. I'll call you about the move scan search. You want to go to Doomsday? Are you mad? There's a raid there every other week. I want to know why I am apparently dead. Oh, come on, Richard. That's just junky talk. You're alive. Concentrate on Tracy and James. And on your health. I don't know, Steve. I don't have a good feeling about it. Why does he think I'm dead? Maybe he knows something about James, too. I hope my wife and kid aren't dead, too. Okay, I picked a random one. It seemed to have worked. But I wonder if we could have focused on Jack McHale as well. The mystery thickens. The plot thickens. Martian Colony Red One has begun testing its autonomous energy. People just talking here? No more coffee for me. Is Troy working at my desk now? He's expected to be autonomous within a few days. Can I take my photo back, please? No, it's still here, but it's not my desk anymore. Look at that! My stuff is gone. Oh my god. 
It's not even in the box. Or am I at the wrong desk? No, somebody somebody really packed all my stuff away. God damn. Frank. It's not here. And apparently I can just waltz in here too. <laughs> okay, let's go to Doomsday Club then. Not sure if there were some divergences there or was this the only path that we could go to? It seemed like Jack McHale could have been an um, interesting figure too. Supposedly dead. But you know how it is with these supposedly dead statements, because I'm supposedly dead too. <laughs> how do I get there? Do I have to take a cab? Not quite sure if I would want to take one after all of that. Hey, there's more bots here now. Help our authorities fight crime more oh. effectively. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. No. How do I go to the Doomsday Club? Do I want to go back home first? Already back, sir? What does it look like? Have you had a successful day so far? No, apparently not. <laughs> uh, was there anything I could do here? Or I'm just trying to figure out how I can get to the Doomsday Club. Should I call Meta Central, by the way? Not now. Oh, okay. Hollow pin board. Thank you. Excuse me, Simon. <laughs> No. This room. Jeff Kasowski claims I'm dead. Possible whereabouts Anarcho Club Doomsday. But can I like Google how to get there or... I'm not quite sure how I should be getting there. Man in the apartment. I found him, but who is he? <gasps> Could it be this guy? Their hair looks kind of... It's hard to tell. Well, whatever it is I need to do, I don't think it's in here. Both the bots are blocking my way! Oh, hold on! Is it the train here? A drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone has caused serious damage to the inner city. Here we go. A 250-story administration building was destroyed by five missiles. Danger level three. News from New York. 